main thing is that the youth need to recognize that it's not boring to be a Christian. You can enjoy yourself while still knowing the Lord and just, just being yourself. And so today we have come to just celebrate the Lord and just to, to interact with each other. We're all from different countries. I'm from Jamaica. Some people are from Kenya. Other people are from Nigeria. So it's all for us to realize that we're one family in the Lord. Uh, Bona Sufiwe. Uh, this is a very beautiful day. We are glad to be here. We are glad that we are in the presence of the Lord today and we are happy that we've come to see how the youth are happy for the Lord. We are also very happy to have such a meeting and barbecue where people meet together and then the youth celebrate what the Lord has done for them. We are very pleased, we are well fed, songs have been great and we just appreciate what God has done. Very grateful to be here. Thank you. Bye. and they will just let us become young men. Though we are, we are Kenyans abroad, different people abroad, we also got a kind of a life where we can be able to relate to one another. Today has been a fantastic day. We're having a good day. It's for the youth and I'm really enjoying myself. And I'm telling you, if you didn't come, you missed it. Believe me, you missed it. Plenty of nyamachoma, pop pop. If you wanna call it dumpling, kachumbari, And the music is about loving Christ. Christ comes first. Hi, my name's Raz. Um, it's been a really nice day. Everyone's come together, eating, dancing. It's been really lovely. And her ministry. We had a good time and we just pray that everyone's blessed. Amen. Hello, my name is Cassandra. I'm here at the youth event today for the Back to God ministry. Um, yeah, we're having a great time with barbecue and food. Definitely to be a youth in the Lord, to give your all to Christ and be doing the work for Him instead of being out in the world is great. You have a great load of fun. I have joy, I have peace in my heart and I hope you do too. Hello, my name is Naomi. Um, I'm from Christ Victory Church and I just want to say that we're having a great time at the um, youth event, well, end of summer youth event. May God bless you if you're watching this video and Jesus loves you. Amen. The question us is that if you would come to the room which is next year, it's a bit warmer, please come inside. We're going to put our hands together and we'll come Cassandra. Yes. Let's put our hands together for Cassandra. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good. God bless you. Basically, as a young person myself, I like to think of myself as still young anyway. I... <laughs> I basically take this word to just mean to me that life is about choices. We all have choices each and every day about what we choose to do with our life. Today, you all chose to be here. You're going to choose how long you stay for and you're going to choose whether you have a good time or a bad time. In God, as a Christian, you have a choice. You have a choice whether to be a religious Christian, a church goer, someone who just attends because maybe your parents said to attend or because you, that's what you believe good people should do. Or you can choose to actually have an encounter with God, a relationship with God. You can actually choose to have the Holy Spirit into your heart. You can choose to make Christianity a lifestyle or you can choose to just say it's a religion for you. So in my life, I've chosen to walk with God because I've been in the world and it has nothing to offer. I know everyone says that, but I have tried everything out there and it's just deception. It, there is no good in the ending. When you're clubbing for, from when you're 16 to 27, tell me when you're 45, what profit that brought you to your life. When you're drinking for 15 to 20 years, what profit for your life does that bring you when you're old and you're dying? As the scripture I read says, 
Don't chase after the things in this world. They're temporary. When you die, you can't take those things with you. No one is going to stand at your funeral and say, yeah, she was a great raver. Yeah, she was a great girlfriend. No one's going to say that. But let your legacy be that you know what, your character, your model conduct inside you, you were a woman, a man, a child, a boy of God. You know what, that you left inspiration, that the youths, even if you die young, for example, they can look at your funeral and desire to be what you were, to desire to have what you have. I'm not here to tell you that walking with God takes away your situations, you have no problems, your life is blessed. But he gives you the strength to cope. He gives you the strength to make the difference. At school, at college, two of you will sit the same exam. But the one who has chosen to have an encounter with God, not only will you have strength to juggle the exam, home life and work and everything else you're going through, but you, the mark that you will get, it will show the excellence that comes from walking with God. The experience that when you dig deep into God, he reveals so much to you you don't even have fear of dying i just want to say one more thing to the youths who told you that you will die when you are old and peaceful the fact is you're more likely to die an unnatural death than a natural one and you know what there's no point fearing death because it's going to happen but when you go have the assurance of what you lived your life was for what you stood for and have the assurance of where you're going after death i ask you to be an example we're all like it's the end of the summer holidays now go into your colleges go into your workplace go into your homes and make the difference don't dishonor god by saying you're a christian but leaving a different kind of life give god the honor and the glory through your lifestyle make changes search yourself you know whether you're a real christian or a fake christian i urge you today to be a real christian solid and true because he needs workers he needs people who are ready to say here i am lord send me no matter the cost because this world fashion we're not even wearing last year's fashion so it's not worth it we're not even that job that you used to desire it's not even worth it because as you grow up you seek more things life is getting and harder we thought we were broke last year but this year now credit crunch has come so imagine next year but if you seek first the kingdom of god i'm telling you everything will be added onto you just think about all that has been said today all that has been accomplished and while we're having fun and we're eating and enjoying ourselves the most important thing is where shall you spend your long eternity after wasting many years in your processes and sin where shall you spend your long eternity. This is not about a particular church. This is about the youth people. You see, the experience of Lucy, Michelle, and Papeshua in a lot of accident, it was a powerful message to the youth to know this, that it is only a matter of seconds and your life could be in jeopardy. And therefore we say that sometimes it would be nice for us to come as the youth. Maybe we can educate one another. Maybe we can encourage one another. And one thing I would like to tell you as the youth is, please do not drink and drive. Please do not drink and drive. They don't go together. They what I want to tell you is this. All things are possible. Tell your neighbor, all things are possible. Hello, hi there. My name is Nelly. Um, I really enjoyed today. Um, you're such a blessing to actually, you know, have fellowship with other youth as well, you know. We still have fun, we still enjoy ourselves. And also, I can't wait for the next one. Hi, my name is Eva. Um, I've been having a good time. It's such a blessing to see the youth coming together and just doing all this with Ian. We've had fun, we've done, we've done, you know, we pray. And it's such a blessing. I wish next time will be much better and we should be there. Thank you. God bless. I'm really happy for the things that have happened here today. All about the youth. I've never seen so many youth in my life. I'm just thanking the Lord for what He's done in our in our life. Uh, we've been organizing for a few weeks, and I just want to say a special thank you to Grace, but she's been organizing all this, calling the youth, and God is faithful. Uh, it's wonderful for this day. Everyone who's participated, the drinks, the nyamachoma, the burgers, it was wonderful. And thank you so much, Mr. Feature Vision, even for coming all the way from Portsmouth, for being here with us. Thank you so much. Thank you for the DJ. 
Hallelujah. God is faithful. Amen.